So we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to install Reaper, not in Windows, not in Mac, but in Linux. So when you go over to Reaper and you click download, you know, you have your normal options here, Windows, Mac, etc. But then over here, you have this other section here, Linux. And at the moment, it's just experimental, not supported. And that's okay. That's fine. So what I'm going to do, I am going to open up terminal and I am going to go to my downloads folder and I am going to use wget to download Reaper and it has downloaded. So if I LS, there you go. We have Reaper there. So we need to extract it. There are multiple ways of doing this. So let's go ahead and extract this file. So let's clear the terminal. And there we go. We have extracted the tar file and let's go ahead and do a CD and go into that directory. And there we go. Clear that out. Now we're going to figure out exactly what we need to run this. So we have this readme file here. You can use whatever text editor to read this. I like to use Vim. You can use whatever you want. And you know what? Let's make that full screen. Let's scroll the way up. So here are some of the requirements. So we want to make sure we have all of this. So I know I don't have lame. So this is lame MP3. I believe I have everything else installed. So you know what? For now, I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to open up another terminal. And I'm going to search. I'm going to type in MP3. When I searched for MP3, lame was there, but I want to show you different ways to do this. So now we're going to search for lame and see if that comes up. All right, there we go. We got some information here. Scroll up and we need this one here. You know what? I'm going to just copy that and I am going to install this. So it's going to ask you for your password because you have to run as root. And it's already installed. You know what? I should have checked, but I didn't. It's okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and install this. If we run into any errors, it is what it is. Now, remember, guys, whenever you're installing anything, you have to use that sudo command. That's going to allow you to have privileges. sudo then install dot s h. Um, I don't know if that'll work. Uh, no. So let's go ahead and do that. That should run it. All right. So here we go. So now we have a couple of options here. I want to install Reaper. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And now it has some options. Where do you want to install Reaper? You know what? I'm going to install it and I'm going to select number one. Yes. I would definitely like to add desktop integration. And you know what? I'm going to just select yes. So this has completed. All we have to do is run Reaper. Hopefully we can run it from the terminal. And yes, we can. Now I want to make sure we don't have any errors and you're going to see two errors there. And that's because our audio interface isn't configured yet. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And let's see, uh, just to let you guys know, due to the whole pandemic thing going on in the world, they are giving away a temporary license. So yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm not going to enter my license for this just yet. I do have my own personal license that I purchased a while ago. So let's go ahead and configure this. And hopefully I have everything I need to get this going. So before we continue, I did show you guys that using the terminal, we can open it, but the terminal has to remain open. So if accidentally you close the terminal, Reaper closes as well. But that's okay. If you don't want to do things like that, and you can go ahead and click applications. By the way, I am using XFCE, that's my window manager of choice. You can change that. There's so many out there. And if we go to multimedia, we should have Reaper. And where are you? There we go. Click that and Reaper is going to launch. And here's where it got really interesting. So what we need to do now is configure our audio interface. That's why we see that error. As you can see, I'm going to go to preferences and I'm going to switch it over to pulse audio. But it got really interesting because when I did that, one of the things I forgot, whenever you set your audio interface to be your default and you try to create these videos, sometimes the audio doesn't work properly. And that's exactly what happened. 
So what I'm doing here, I'm looking at my inputs and outputs with something called also. You do that in terminal. So once I was able to set up everything, things got really interesting because Reaper took over, the sample rates changed, and the audio for the video was so slow. So yeah, I thought I was pressing the metronome and I wasn't. But once I figured all of that out, I heard sound, meaning the audio interface was properly configured. The reason you don't hear any audio, because I have to figure out a way to capture the audio from Reaper or any other DAW. Within Windows, I have that all figured out. Something that I can do. Either I find a piece of software or I use a laptop and capture the audio externally. That is something that I might look into. But here's what I want you to do. Give me a thumbs up. That would definitely help. First time watching, subscribe. Also, if you guys are interested in this topic, let me know. We can talk about VSTs and all that good stuff. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.